Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to submit CS50 projects. When I was new to CS50 I faced so much difficulty, while submitting. So, I created this video to help you out. I taken a project degrees from CS50 Artificial Intelligence course. Now, let's go to the submit instructions given here. Before clicking this link, we need to have a GitHub account for submitting. I already had an GitHub account. Now, I will show my GitHub account. This is my GitHub account. In my account, you can see that, I have two repositories. One is CS50 course private repository. And the second one is which I created for testing. Now, let's go back to the instructions. Here, they mention that, we need to authorize CS50 to upload our projects. When we click this link, as you can see I have two submissions. For you people, it will show you, a button, authorize CS50. After clicking that button, it will show us no submissions. Now, we need to install Git in our system. When we click this link, install Git. It will take you directly to the Git download page. Here, you can see that Git can be downloaded for Mac, Windows, Linux. When we click this links, the download will start automatically. I already downloaded this in my system. Now, let's go back to the documentation. Here, as you can see we can optionally install, submit 50. I will discuss that process in the later videos. But now, I will show you how to push our project, into this link, and these branch. Before pushing our work, I created a folder sample project. And I also opened it in VCode. Now, I will create a HTML file for pushing into GitHub. We can push any type of file into GitHub. But, for demonstration purpose, I am going to create HTML file now, I am going to save this file in this folder. Before opening the terminal, I will show you some of the basic commands of Git. Now, using these commands, we will start working in the terminal. I already opened and navigated to my folder. Now, let's start by initializing Git. Using, git init command. Now, we initialize the git in our folder. As per documentation, we need to push our work to a specified branch. To check which branch we are currently on, we can use git status command. As you can see here, the branch is master. Now, we need to go to the one, specified in degrees. So, I'm going to use git checkout command to move from master, to that branch in degrees. In our case, the branch is i50, projects, 2020, x, degrees. Here, you can see that. We are switched to a new branch. Let's start adding files to this branch. Before adding, let's check is there any files present in local directory to push into GitHub. Using git status command, we can do that. So, I'm going to use git status command. As you can see here, I have only one file, previously created in vcode. In my case it is only one file, for you, it can be many. Now, let's add this file to git, with git add command. Now, we added this file using git add command. To check whether it is added or not, we can check with git status command. So, I'm going to use that command here. See, it is added to git. Green indicates that, it is added. As you can see here, there is no commits yet. So, our next step is to commit this. We can commit it using git commit command. So, I'm going to use that command here. See, it is committed. Now, we need to use git remote command. Because, we need to add a new remote for our URL. I already copied the URL. So, I'm going to use this command, where the name of the remote is test. And the username present in the URL is my GitHub username.
The remote is added. To check whether it is at or not, we can use git remote command. So, I am going to use that one. See, the remote name is displayed here. The final step is to push our work to the branch. For that, we need to use git push command. So, I am going to use that one. It will take a while to complete. After completion, to check whether we submitted correctly or not. We can visit this link. Now, click on our respective course. After clicking it, our progress will be displayed. Please like and subscribe my channel, for future updates. Thank you.